good morning students so we were going through the chapter polynomial this is for class 10th the topic that we will be covering now is relationship between zeros and coefficients of a quadratic polynomial here you can see a standard quadratic polynomial how is it represented ax square plus bx plus c px is equal to ax square plus bx plus c condition a should not be equal to 0 for it to straightly be made now quadratic equation a should not be equal to 0 suppose alpha and beta are the roots of this quadratic polynomial ax square plus bx plus c alpha beta are roots that means p alpha and t beta is equal to 0 then we know that by factor theorem x minus alpha and x minus beta shall be the factor of this polynomial px now arrange it it can be written like ax square plus bx plus c can be written like k into factors x minus alpha into x minus beta well k is a constant that comes out to be common so k is written here constant then factors x minus alpha into x minus beta okay so this can be further simplified like this k into these two multiply out to come x square minus alpha plus beta x plus alpha beta kx square again minus k into alpha plus beta x plus k into alpha beta now comparing the coefficients of x square x and then the constant we find that a is equal to k coefficient of x square coefficient of x b is equal to minus k into alpha plus beta and the constant c is equal to k alpha beta a is equal to k b is equal to minus k alpha plus beta c is equal to k alpha beta so a is equal to k can be substituted in here in place of k minus a into alpha plus beta what is alpha and what is beta they are the roots or zeros of polynomials so alpha plus beta is sum of roots what is the sum of roots b is equal to minus a into alpha plus beta so alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a then c is equal to k alpha beta is equal to a alpha beta k is equal to a so alpha beta is equal to c by a c by a product of roots we found out alpha into beta is the product of root and it comes out to be c by a where it can be simplified as sum of zeros or sum of roots of the quadratic polynomial is minus b by a where minus b is the b is the coefficient of x a is the coefficient of x square and product of roots come out to be c by a where c is the constant term last constant term and a is the coefficient of x square okay let's have a quick recap so px is a polynomial ax square plus bx plus c the standard form of a quadratic polynomial suppose alpha and beta are the roots of this polynomial then it can be arranged like ax square plus bx plus c can be arranged like k into x minus alpha into x minus beta as alpha and beta roots uh, say that x minus alpha and x minus beta shall be the factors when uh, simplified it comes out to be kx square minus k into alpha plus beta x plus k alpha beta on comparing the coefficients of x square x and then the constant term we found out that sum of 0 come out to be minus b by a product of 0 come out to be c by a here b is coefficient of x a is coefficient of x square c is the constant term okay now suppose you are given that alpha and beta are the roots and now you have to find out what the quadratic equation shall look like you have been given that there is a quadratic equation whose roots are alpha and beta how will you form the quadratic equation the only data given is alpha and beta that are the roots of the quadratic equation then the quadratic equation shall be formed like this x square minus alpha plus beta that is sum of roots into x plus alpha into beta that is product of roots okay so x square minus alpha plus beta x where alpha and beta are given plus alpha into beta so this is how you can form a quadratic equation when the roots are given alpha and beta are given form a quadratic equation quadratic equations are the x square minus alpha plus beta x plus alpha beta